Hello, and you are welcome back to north3schools.org. On our previous lessons, we learned about some basic programming languages that exist in the world, and which one you would prefer to choose in the course of our programming. And we learned about HTML, we learned about CSS, and we learned about JavaScript, in which we said earlier JavaScript is not going to be a part of our discussion. We we'll talk about PHP and we will also learn about my SQL. Now for our lessons today, we are going to learn about the first steps in during our web programming languages. In our first language we are going to learn is the basic language which is the HTML, the hypertext markup language. This is our basic language we are going to learn for today. For a hypertext markup language. Before any programmer should start programming, anybody should start developing. There is what we refer to as CMS, which is Content Content Management Systems. A CMS. When we say content management systems or CMS, we are talking about the platforms which is going to allow us to do all our coding, where we are going to manage our content, where our codes are going to be written. So without these CMS or the content management system, there is no way we can be able to develop or write our code or our programs. So we will talk about some basic CMS we should have before we can start up with our development. It should not seem to you as something so big or large. CMS simply means text editors where we will be doing our course and when we need to update our course we will still come back to these text editors so that we will be able to render our code just as we want it to be. So the basic CMS we want to know about comes with our Windows installed. Any operating system that you are using already comes with the basic CMS which is the notepad. So one basic CMS you should know is the notepad which at least every computer should have. So everybody should have this basic content management system. And the advanced one is the notepad plus plus. You can get it from the notepad plus plus dot com. When you get there you can have the latest version of notepad to download. You can also have Adobe Dreamweaver can have NetBeans, Kamodo, and a whole lot of them. There are mil millions and tons of these CMS you can download for free, and you can as well update or upgrade to buy the premium versions of them so that you can use. And another version I will talk about is Sublime Text. And as at the, as at the time I was writing this tutorial the current version of sublime text or sublime text 3 so you can get sublime text 3 and this is what i'll be using for the rest of the course and everything that i'll be doing i'll be using sublime text 3 but feel free to choose any kind of text editor supposing or just in case that suits you best or you prefer it best there is no limit as to what kind of content management system you should want to choose for your program. And for now, you can see that 
this interface is sublime text I'm working on the sublime text interface I downloaded it from sublimetext.org sorry sublimetext.com you go to sublimetext.com you can get the latest version then download install on your computer it is free I'm using the free version so you can use it the same way I am using you can go to preferences and change the color scheme to any one of the colors that you prefer to use best so for the rest of the course we'll be doing I'll be sticking to this cup for the rest of the course now before everything at all I want us to start with notepad so that uh, go to the start of your menu and click on notepad after you have clicked on notepad you can have your notepad like this and you can be using your notepad here and there but before then I have some few things I would want to talk about before I will use the notepad so let me close the notepad for now so this CMS is all available you can go back to it for now I'm going to talk about HTML which is the hypertext markup language what at all is HTML HTML means or HTML is a connection of tags and the tags is simply the less than and the greater than sign this is as simple as that tags the connection of tags I have connected two symbols together as a less than sign this is the less than sign and this is the greater than sign so these tags come together and we are able to render an html document and we also have another tag like this so this is known as the opening tag and this is also known as the closing tag so you can know about this as the opening html tag and this is closing html tab so this is known as the opening tag and this is known as the closing tag now there are differences between an opening tag and a closing tag you can see for yourself that this opening tag has no forward slash inside of it it is left blank it is only this less than sign and greater than sign which has been put together without a forward slash but the closing tag has a forward slash you must know this not a backslash if you're using a backslash then you're mistaking the program for something else which is not going to get the job done for you so you must always stick to using the forward slash which is the appropriate way to do your code if you're using the backslash you'll be running into problems and you're not going to get to job done so always remember to use a forward slash to close off your tags so this is all about the first steps you should get inside of your mind when it comes to basic structure of html code that you would always be writing this is the opening tag and this the closing tag now what do we mean about tag and tag as in the case of closing and opening tag this is what HTML uses in rendering its pages tags gives a set of instructions to the web page when you have a tag a tag in your HTML web page can mean to HTML that you want to have a paragraph you want to write your work in HTML <coughs> and the tag tells which part of the HTML web document is in the body which of the web document part should be on the title and this is basically 
what tax is all about. Before you start everything in HTML, what you must remind yourself of constantly is that you must always write HTML in the opening tag with the less than sign and the greater than sign. You must have HTML coming in between these these symbols, and you must always remember to have HTML as well in the closing one. The tag the forward slash must always be at the beginning of a new a new tag or a closing tag so in this element the html element the opening tag html element must have a closing tag at all times so let's consider this as a full human being let's understand it from that point of view that html stands as a human being and this human being as every normal human being should have you have a head and you should have a body as well you have a head and you should have a body as well And always the head should be at the top and the body should be down or the head must always come before the body that's how the human body is exactly like you cannot have your foot or the rest of your body appearing before your head comes down no that is not how it is meant to be it's the same thing with HTML the full human being which is html and also you can also understand it as a container and it contains the head and the body there is nothing wrong about aligning them together this way rendering them in line when it is like this it is the same thing and it means the same thing but because you will be writing a lot of content and when you do it this way it's very difficult to read you should break down all these ones into separate lines so that you are able to see clearly exactly what you are doing so you have the head the opening head tag and you have the closing head tag and you have the body which closes and the body which opens and you must always remember to end with the forest slash which closes our each HTML tag now inside the head you should also have a title the head section also contains the title element and the title elements contains the text which is supposed to be displayed on our web page the title bar of our web page so when you go to every web page on every web browser you can have a title bar and the title bar is the utmost part of the web page and you can see display there so anything you write inside of title is supposed to be displayed over there and in our examples we are going to see what exactly I mean by title displaying in a title bar for example if you have this as no three not three tutorials not three tags as our title it is going to be displayed on the title bar for us to see that this is our title because we will be writing a lot of content for our body section of our HTML page we should be able to break it down this way for us to see how it is going to be looking like and now you can see that I have left off some spaces in here so that my markup is readable and presentable and is very easy for you to see and read it at every point in time so